Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Hermann Fegelein. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to drop me a comment below. Otto Hermann Fegelein was born on October 30th, 1906 in Ansbach in Bavaria, a son of Hans Fegelein. Hermann Fegelein, whom had learned horse riding at his father's equestrian school, joined the Cavalry Regiment 17 in the Reichswehr in the year 1925. Only three years later, Fegelein left the army and joined the Bavarian police force. But his career ended after he got caught stealing exam papers out of his superior's room in the year 1929. In the following time, Hermann Fegelein came into contact with National Socialism when his father, an SA member, hosted meetings of the SS and SA at his equestrian school. In the year 1930, Hermann Fegelein joined both the NSDAP, the National Socialist German Workers' Party, and the SA, the Sturmabteilung. Working as, at, as an instructor at his father's school, Hermann transferred into the SS in April 1933 and became the leader of the SS Reitersturm. He rose through the SS ranks in the 1930s. During the Olympic Games in Berlin in the year 1936, he was in charge of the preparation of the equestrian courses. He held the rank of SS Sturmbahnführer, equivalent to the rank of Major in the Wehrmacht. Fegelein himself tried to make the team, but wasn't able to make it. He did, however, win important tournaments in the following years. He was promoted to the rank of s Standartenführer, equivalent to the rank of Oberst in the Wehrmacht, and put in charge of the SS Hauptreitschule München, the SS main riding school in Munich, in July 1937. After the Wehrmacht invaded Poland, September 1939, Hermann Fegelein, in charge of the SS Totenkopf Reiterstandarte, the SS Death Half um, Rider Regiment, was sent to Poland to support police activities. In this occupation, Fegelein's unit was involved in the mass shooting in December 1939, shooting over 1,700 Polish intellectuals and aristocrats. Since his unit was short of supply, and stole not only from civilians, but also from transports on the way back to Germany. Fegelein was court-martialed court for these offenses, but Heinrich Himmler always fought them off quickly. During this, his time in Poland, he, together with his unit, killed no, numerous Polish Jews, claiming them to be partisans. Hermann Fegelein was awarded the Iron Cross second class for his participation in the West Campaign of 1940. He fought in Belgium and France. The beginning of Operation Barbarossa, when his unit, now named 1st SS Cavalry Regiment, was assigned to the 87th Infantry Division under the 9th Army and Army Group Center. After only a week, Himmler was not willing to have his SS units commanded uh, by the Wehrmacht and withdrew the regiment from the control of the 87th Division. For his efforts during this week, Fegelein received the Iron Cross First Class. In the following month, Hermann Fegelein was assigned to detect and execute Jews, partisans and civilians in the occupied territory of the Belarusian Socialist Soviet Republic. In August 1941, Hermann Fegelein became the commander of the newly formed SS Cavalry Brigade, which was established out of the 1st and 2nd SS regiments, which were both commanded by himself. When Fegelein reported the numbers of killed persons, Heinrich Himmler answered that those numbers were far too low. Estimates are that by the following month, more than 20,000 Jews were killed by Fegelein's unit. During the offensive led by an army group center with the goal to capture Moscow, Fegelein's cavalry brigade was held as an operational reserve. When it was thrown into battle, 
the SS unit lost almost 60% of its manpower in some squadrons. In February 1942, Fegelein led an assault in the area of northwest of Giatolino, for which he received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, and in May of the same year he was reassigned to the SS Führungsamt in Berlin. By the end of the same year, Hermann Fegelein returned to the Eastern Theater, taking over command of Kampfgruppe Fegelein in the Southern Soviet Union, ranked as a Waffen-SS Oberführer. He received the oak leaves to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross after he got severely wounded by a sniper in December 1942. As commander of the 8th SS Cavalry Division, Florian Geyer, Fegelein participated in the fight against Soviet partisans, killing more than 10,000 men and burning down more than 100 villages. During the year 1943, Fegelein's unit fought defensive battles against the Red Army, for which he was awarded the German Cross in gold. Since 1944, Hermann Fegelein was again in the SS Führungsamt in Berlin and was assigned as Himmler's liaison officer to Hitler's headquarter. In, the ju in June of the same year, 1944, Hermann Fegelein married Gretel Braun, who was the sister to Adolf Hitler's girlfriend, Eva Braun. By the end of the Second World War, Hermann Fegelein left the Führerbunker in late April 1945, after Berlin had been encircled by the Red Army. Other than Hitler, Fegelein was not ready to die in the city. The Reichssicherheitsdienst arrested Hermann Fegelein in his apartment and brought him back to the bunker. After the BBC announced Himmler's efforts to negotiate peace between Nazi Germany and the Western Allies, Hermann Fegelein was killed on April 28, the year 1945, in the garden of the Reichschancellery, either on the orders of Adolf Hitler or Peter Högel. He died at the age of 45. Thank you so much for watching.